Welcome to my new series, Home Review, where I review your home and give you tips and tricks to make sure that your home better suits you. This is the second episode of the series and we are looking at a bedroom today that is in desperate need of having a personality. So let's check it out. So I got this from Reddit under the R Design My Room subreddit and Vic asks what is missing in their bedroom. Hi all, I recently got engaged to my long-term boyfriend and he moved into my house with my dad and I. My mom passed away a few years ago and the house is big enough for the three of us. We bought all new furniture and I like the actual layout of the room. I just think that the room feels very naked. We have a round mirror we'll be putting above the six drawer chest that's beside the bookcase. I want to put a print above our bed though not sure what might go with the grey of the wall. Painting is not an option right now and I quite like the colour anyway so I don't feel the need to. What can I add to make it feel more like it's our home now? Side note, the comforter and pillows as well as much of the shelving decor is from when this was my room alone. Also the purple and pink hand painting on the wall is of me and my mum's hands. I'd like to keep it in the room, but feel like its current location is a bit off. All right, so, so far so good. We've got a young couple that needs their space to be jazzed up to have both parties kind of present in the space and to feel maybe a little bit more grown up and a little bit more like them. So as we look at the bedroom, we can see, you know, there's white Ikea everything. They must be Ikea's best friend because, oh my gosh, it is just Ikea all over the place. That melon dresser must be like the most popular selling item they've got and they must be like so happy with their design team with that one because even I had that for ages. Before we continue I've just got to really quickly mention that TV literally just reminds me of that episode of The Office with Michael and I just... And bought myself a plasma TV. <laughs> check it out. So why does this space not feel cozy currently? Well number one the biggest thing is that it's all one singular brand and there's no variation. This can be a very common mistake people make is not feeling brave enough to switch things up. Yes it all looks consistent and everything but it's almost too structured. There's no personality of the person because all they've done is focused on Ikea and so this looks like an Ikea showroom sure but it doesn't show them. Now the hardest part that I have today is they don't mention whether or not they like a specific type of design style so I'm kind of going in blind here but based on what I can see I can see that they like more of a minimalist look and they want it to be sleek and modern. That's all I can tell from the spaces of currently so I'm going to go with that but add some more masculine elements to it and cozy it up and make it more warm and inviting for them. To start off with I think the biggest thing that we should do is add lighting. You guys know that I am not a huge fan of down lights and especially when you're in a bedroom you really want to have at least two or three different lighting sources that aren't from up above. When you're going to bed at night do you really want to have this bright white light beaming down on you like you're at the office or do you want to have like a nice cozy bedside lamp that's going to bring some warmth into the space. So Step number one, we're adding these lamps. Because she hasn't mentioned much about her fiance and what he likes, I'm going to go with what men typically seem to like, at least in terms of design preferences. This is obviously a generalization, but most of the time guys do seem to like their black, gray, and white rooms. I don't know why it is. I think it's just because they like their structure and order, but we're going to go with these black lamps. They're modern, they're cool, but they have some contrast to the rest of the space. The biggest thing that I really want to change is the bed head because we've got everything being exactly the same. We need some variation. So you've got one of two options. You can either paint it black or you can add in the timber. Personally, I would like you to add the timber. That adds some more warmth into the space. Keep it light if that's what you like. Obviously you could go darker, but that creates more of a moody space. And since it looks like you like the more lighter looks, go with a light, timber oak and just get a really thin piece like from Bunnings or Lowe's or wherever you are from in the world and maybe glue it on obviously sand it down stain it make sure that it's going to stay there forever and look quite nice and then next we're going to add in some white and then black bedding so white underneath black over the top again we're adding just a little bit of contrast and the particular bedding that I've selected here is just a little bit more of a texture piece as well because the entire room feels very flat, we've got to really try and build texture, especially to make the space feel cozy. You can certainly go for like something silk and just completely flat, but then if you're going to do that, go with a chunky throw. So then you still add that texture in just at the amount that you're happy with. We've added that in. We're starting to have a little bit more of a personality, a little bit more drama and contrast happening. 
What's next? Well, when I was going through this subreddit, she mentioned that she really wanted to have all of her engagement photos as a gallery wall on this particular wall. So we've added that in. And this is actually the way that she laid it out on there. So this is all her photos. And honestly, they look so cute. They, they're really beautiful. And I think this is probably a really good layout as well. I'd make a couple of tweaks personally, but I just wanted to show it in, in the way that she has actually created it herself. I would also go with timber frames as well. So then you're adding in more warmth and it will tie in with the bed head as well. Now you could go with one of two looks. You can either keep the pictures as they are, or you can do a black and white look. If you want more structure and the space to feel more visually consistent, go with the black and white. But if you want to add more color and more life into the space, keep the colored look and that's all you really need. So this is one of my biggest pet peeves with other designers and other people online is that they never show their own personality, especially with the modern farmhouse trend, which I've obviously talked about in length. Usually they don't deviate from the actual style to showcase who they are. They haven't collected photos of themselves. They haven't collected items from flea markets or things they've collected as heirlooms either. It's all very flat. So adding pictures like this is probably the easiest way to add in your own personality back into the space. Now, what do we need? Well, it's still feeling a little bit cold. So one of the easiest ways to add in a bit of warmth and a bit of texture is adding a plant. There's a bit of space in the corner there. We're going to have a plant there, nice big one. When it's big, it kind of makes a bit more of a statement and it's going to have more of an effect on you and your space. So. Have that with a little wicker basket as well. Continue tying in those timber elements. We'll continue to warm it up. She mentioned that she really liked taupe, taupe, whatever it is. And honestly, this is a little bit of a risky move because of the gray. Now gray pulls from every color in the color wheel, which is really cool. However, if it's more of a bluey sort of gray, that taupe color is probably going to clash with it. If it's a warmer gray, it might actually look quite nice. So we've only added it in a small amount on the bedding. You could also switch this out and make it green. That would look really nice as well. Obviously continue with the green little elements, but because she wanted this, I wanted to show what it could look like. And finally, we need to add a rug. Now, because this is a very moody space, it's very monochromatic, I actually opted for something green and you can't really see it in the particular image here, but if I show it to you, it's almost this like contemporary looking rug. It's got a bit of green. It's got a bit of like cream as well to it. It's got this waviness to it. It is a bit of a contrast to everything else in the room that is so structured. So that's that view. Now let's have a look at the other side of the room. She mentioned that she was going to add a round mirror, which I think is a great idea. It will just add in a little bit more of light bouncing around into the space. So we'll continue with that. There's not much that's going to change here, honestly. It's just a few of the pieces that I've already mentioned. So we've got the rug down in the space obviously it's a little bit more fitting to the room as well the previous rug's a bit small so having something that's actually a bit wider and a little bit grander will make the space feel a little bit better zoned and obviously it feels really nice to have like a rug under your feet rather than hard timber flooring next we've got another lamp i know lamps you have to have them i'm sorry but having multiple light sources is way better than only having one and this is just an alternative to having the ones on your bedsides Obviously, I don't know how big this room is, but I can kind of give an estimate and three is definitely enough for this space, but having a cool little green one like this could be really nice and it ties in with the rug as well. She did mention a little bit about potentially changing out her curtains and I think a Roman blind would be really nice here. Again, something more timbery, something warmer, so then it ties in with those timber elements and feels just a little bit more inviting. Plus the actual look of a Roman blind feels a little bit more luxurious as well. And finally, we're adding in a plant. Now, I love pothoses. I've had plenty of them and I swear they are unkillable. Like they are so hardy and they can do low light. They can do high light. Like it doesn't matter. Like they will just survive no matter what. And it looks really cool when they're dangling down. And that'll add a little bit more of that a cozy feeling, but also just like an inviting nature to the space. But we are missing a huge proponent that she mentioned in the design proposal. She mentioned that she wanted to have the frame picture of her hand with her mother's in the room. So where has that gone? Because she's got that melm dresser that's on the other side of the wall, right next to where that plant is that I've recommended, here's what I would recommend. And I've just kind of photoshopped this up. I would recommend getting that framed, make it look really nice, make sure it's protected as well. So then you've got it for years to come. I've just found this really cool like timber frame because it ties in with everything else, but 
use whatever you like. You don't have to either. And then add in a couple of candles so then you can light it for her occasionally and you know, maybe have a little bowl there as well. So then you can pop your keys or anything that you need to grab frequently is easy access and you can always see your mom every single time that you do that. So that's the design. We've gone from a bland and very flat looking space into a more contemporary modern space that is feeling a lot more inviting and a lot more personality. Obviously, I don't know exactly what types of styles they like, but I'm basing this solely on what I'm seeing already. And I really do hope that this helps them out a lot. If you would like to be a part of home review, there will be a link in the description of a little questionnaire and you too can also be on the channel and I can show off your room and what could potentially be. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in our next design adventure.